Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now, I'm looking over, I'm reviewing a lot of the comments that I've gotten over the last year or so. And I'm still in the last month, so or the last two months. So I'm getting ready to read another uh, comment from one of you viewers. And I want you to know that I'm going to start doing that a lot. Because sometimes I don't even know what to say. I feel like I've said just about everything I can say. And when I feel lost for words, I'm going to start drawing from your input. So comment, and you might see some of your videos up on YouTube, you know, some of your comments on video on YouTube. Okay, here we go. Hey, let me tell you about a dream I had when I was 20. I was driving across the Bay Bridge, but in my dream, I wasn't in a car. I was sitting up with my legs in front of me like I was in an invisible car. And I remember it like it was yesterday. So here I was going across the bridge. I was coming up on an 18-wheeler truck. As I thought to mash the brakes in my dream and thought to myself, wait, I'm not even in a car. <laughs> I was floating, sitting up, but moving right along with traffic. So then I leaned back and I went up in an arc to the right and over the truck. And I kept to the right as I went up through the air. And I turned to look back over my shoulder and saw a huge tidal wave that looked like it was thousands of feet above the bridge. And right there, I started to pray to God. Then I woke up scared to death. It made me think of the end of the world. Then <laughs> I woke up sweating and soaked with sweat. Now, I told my wife about this dream years ago when we met about, uh, uh, when we met. We've been married over 20 years. I'm 53 now. Wow, that's funny how dreams can stick with you, isn't it? We don't always know what they mean, but that looks to me like the rapture. That looks to me like some people will be, will be translated up into the air while others will be caught in disasters, in tragedy. That's why we must Stay close to God and keep our relationship fired up, you guys. It's not time for complacency. Okay? God bless you.